North Park's copper mine in southeast Australia has been in operation since 1994. The mine produces around 160,000 tons of high quality copper every year. The mine began as an open pit operation. Since 1997, the mining operation has been predominantly underground. As one of the smaller members of the Rio Tinto group, North Parks is an ideal site for testing and developing new mining methods. The mine is best known as a center of excellence for block caving. This is an advanced underground mining method in which the ore body is undercut from below. This causes the unsupported rock to collapse and fall. It's mining which is characterized by large upfront investment. Once you've done that, it's an incredibly cost-efficient mining method um, compared to the conventional approach of drilling and blasting. Block caving is not only cost-effective, it's also a safer way to mine. With the scale of the operation that we have here, which lends itself well to, to mechanization, many of the hazards associated with underground mining are eliminated. Mechanization is another area in which North Parks is advancing new ideas. Electric loaders transport the fallen rock from the draw point to the crusher. The company is developing techniques in which the loaders are unmanned and are operated remotely from the surface, over 800 meters above. Running on electricity eliminates heat and diesel fumes. This means that less ventilation is required. The way we operate our mine is uh, with a central control system operated from the surface. This operator has control of our crusher, all our material handling systems, our conveyors. He or she is capable of monitoring everything we do in the mine, so it's an incredibly important role. The crusher is another example of North Park's advanced techniques. By using a gyratory motion, it can handle rocks up to three cubic meters without any preliminary breaking. Once the rocks have been crushed, they are transported to the surface by over two and a half kilometers of automated conveyor and a vertical hoist, a process that continues every day and night throughout the year. Once on the surface, the ore continues along an automated conveyor to the real tower stockpiles before being fed into the processing plant. Inside the plant, the ore passes through a series of grinding mills where water is added and the rock is ground down into slurry. The next step is flotation in which the slurry is passed into large tanks and chemicals are introduced. Air is then blown through the tanks and this encourages the copper to float to the top. The feed that we're currently treating in the plant comes from the mine at about 1.4% copper and about 0.5 grams per tonne in gold, which is, which is pretty small. By the time it's gone through the processing plant, we produce a concentrate which is nearly 40% copper and about 14 grams per tonne in gold. By the time the ore has been processed, the copper has been converted into a dense black powder. This will then be shipped to smelters overseas, where the copper will be transformed into a raw material that will be used in the manufacture of a vast range of finished goods. As work at North Parks continues, the company intends to further develop its reputation as a center for mining innovation that shares best practice across the group.